So the journey to saying those two words was it felt like I was climbing a high dive. Like you feel like you are spending 28 years gathering up the courage to climb up that ladder and then you shuffle your way to the end and you're ready to go and you're like, <gasps> and then you see everything below you and it just, you kind of get hung up for a little bit. So sometimes it just takes a little bit of a push. And for me, it was that vlog and seeing a full year of authenticity through myself and my connections to really feel comfortable to say those two words. And when I did, it was just this overpowering, overwhelming and incredible journey of just love and support and triumph. Did you ever see yourself that way before you did this vlog journey? Did you ever see yourself the way you see yourself now? Yes and no. I feel like I have always feel like I'm an authentic, loud, energetic person, but it just felt like there was a shadow cast on this, this part of myself that I don't want to say I was ashamed of, but I really was in a way to, to be able to feel comfortable enough to jump out there and say it. So the fact that I can now merge what I know about myself with what I'm really portraying out there to the world, it's, it's just a really nice and awesome feeling. I am gay, and I'm okay with it. I feel like my biggest trepidation about why I wasn't coming out and my biggest hesitation was that I feel like I grew up, I guess, at the tail end of where people in the LGBTQ community weren't as understood. Um, and just through my journey, I realized that the people around me, they would love me no matter what and support me. And I always felt like it would be something that people would love me in spite of being gay. And what I realize now is that people love me more because of it, because they can celebrate with me and they, I'm no longer closing myself out to, to people and they get just another thing that they connect with me. We did the countdown, we did the whole like 10, 9, 8, and I was, in those 10 seconds, I was saying goodbye to that previous Mason who thanked him for that journey for getting me here, but I was going to say goodbye to him then and I was going to move on and, and start living my authentic true self. So we all went back to the table, had a couple of celebratory drinks and I went to the bathroom and I remember like putting my hands on the bathroom sink and like looking in the mirror and it's, you're doing this now, it's now or never. And I've always been sort of a chapters based person. So I like the idea of closing one chapter and opening another one. So I remember looking in the mirror like, it's now, you're going to do it now. And then I remember going back to that table there was a little bit of a lull. I counted to 10, took a deep breath, and then cue the out-of-body experience. That's where it just kind of came. And you just felt like this uplifting moment of, of triumph and that, like, just a rush of blood to the head. And it was, it was something that I would never take away because it was, it was phenomenal. It was so good. I'm not dating yet. Um, I really wanted to make sure that when I was ready to take that step, that I was ready to give my full self to somebody. I didn't want to shield part of myself. If I'm going to jump in, I'm going in the deep end with somebody. But yeah, it's uh, something that you're just you're like, okay, I did it. I made it past the first step, and now you're like, oh, there's still some more stuff to explore here. So it's super exciting, though. It is. I feel like for 28 years now, I've been I've been staring up this mountain, and now I'm just at the peak of it. So I'm just going to enjoy it.